it's fantastic being the daughter of the um, one of the greatest gun engravers in the world um, because I've known that he's produced such fantastic work. Oh, I'm very proud of him, you know, it was um, lovely um, knowing that he's so famous and he produces such fantastic work. He's a wonderfully artistic person and his representation of figures and animals and people is very, very accurate and beautifully depicted. He has been a tremendous asset to me because any gun with Ken Hunt's work is very, very easy to sell. I always like to be honest with myself and I always, from an apprentice when I was doing my uh, test pieces and practice pieces, I always pushed myself that little bit more. And I developed my own technique of using acid, which is nitric acid. I will take a gun that is worth a lot of money, really, and put it into a bath of acid, like that. <laughs> and never had any problems. The gun talks to me, what it needs on there. I feel my guns that I've done over the years are my babies. And they will come back years and years later, or I would hear about them, and I would tell you the name of the person that ordered those guns, even if it goes back to way into the 1960s and 1950s. The hours that a gun takes to engrave um, just escalates. My father was very lucky to have my mother as such a support um, who allowed him to be able to just work. <laughs> You sweetie, no engraving for you. No, he's got a little dog collar. But we always did everything together. <laughs> Sheila, even if I go to an art class or, or art or anywhere, she comes with me. We're like Siamese twins in some ways, joined at the hip. When he said he was an engraver, I thought, oh, I didn't really know what engravers were. And I thought he was engraving dog collars or something <laughs> like that. And I thought, oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> From 1963, I decided to work from home. So all the hours that I would have taken travelling, I've been able to devote to my engraving, have lunch with my wife, have tea with my wife, breakfast with my wife. I never had a sleepless night, never regretted getting up and getting to work in the morning. And uh, always there was something experimental or something interesting to do.